Hello, my name is Jennifer, and welcome to part 29 of Abandon Kids the Teen Years. And if you are returning, welcome back. And in this part, we're probably going to end up concentrating a little bit on our newest um, toddler in the house. I was going to say newest addition, but he has been in the house as a baby, but he is newly a toddler toddler, because we aged him up for the last part. So I noticed he was hungry, and I gave, got Sylvia to pick up a serving from the fridge. And let's see, where did you go, Ethan? There you are. So we're going to have her give him some food from inventory. I don't know if this will count towards the good deeds, and since I didn't check her progress before, I probably have no way of telling. <laughs> but, you know, he needs to eat, so I figured I would do it that way. Normally, I'll just take the food and put it out and let the toddlers grab it themselves, but I am trying to work on that uh oh we have a promotion for amelia she and we're gonna have her work from home and then i'll take a look at this she was promoted to stem cutter she can well we, she never makes her money anyway she got 650 simoleon bonus good things and she doesn't ever make any money from her job because we always have them work from home and she got a violets are blue flower arranging table so we got another flower arranging table i don't really know where we would put it so I might just end up selling it. I mean, there may be room to stick it downstairs underneath this um, and move these pots. We perhaps don't need those. And we definitely, definitely don't need... Let me go down a level to make it easier. You don't need that anymore. You know what? I may as well just sell it. It's not really helping. And I'm going to stick this over on this side in case we end up putting any garlic there. And then I will stick that just over here for now. I mean, I could just put it in their family inventory. This one too, for that matter. I just have to try and remember that they are there. And now I'm going to go in the family inventory and see our table that we got. So we got that one. Hopefully I can put it here without using move objects. Yep. I guess because it's three wide. So I'm going to stick that there just because we have another one and that way we have the opportunity to use it. And I put Patchy, I bet you we were having lagging in the last part because I've been getting, having that happen with um, Patchy and some saves. So I'm just going to sell a couple of these things that we don't really, a couple of them. And this one, you know what, I didn't really need to keep it, I'll just sell it. It was the one that broke and I couldn't repair it for some reason. So, and some of these things are just in there because we had rearranged the bedroom, so I'll leave it. And you know what, this one didn't work either, so we'll get rid of it too. And the rest I'll just leave for now. But before I do anything else, I did notice <laughs> that the cow plant is hungry. So I guess we could just feed him, you know. But I'm kind of, I don't know when Sawyer goes to work, whether he will, if whether he will at his whatever level he is. He's a botanist, so I don't know. So he, she's going to be a STEM researcher? No, she's a STEM cutter. So she's a floral designer. So she's gotten her promotion and he has not gotten his promotion. So I've taken him obviously the different route because we didn't just get that pop up. So that must have happened before. So I don't know whether, because I know in my seasons let's play, I was supposed to feed the cow plant and I didn't have a cow plant to feed. <laughs> and I thought the cow plant was hungry when I stuck it in my family inventory. But when I took it out, it wasn't hungry. But I also could be remembering incorrectly. But I'd hate to stick it in the family inventory and then all of a sudden it's not hungry. It just doesn't make sense that that would be the way it would work. I would think, you know what, whatever. It's not like she makes very much money. So we are going to experiment. We'll put it in the family inventory as it is. And if he has to, when he gets his call for work, we'll take it out and feed it. We'll take a look today to see whether it's hungry. So we have taken a look. So she needs to gift a flower arrangement. And how is our flower arrangement doing for... It is normal. So it's going to not last for very... No, it's... Yeah, it's normal. Whereas pristine, it starts. And I think... I don't know the different levels, but it ends up getting to the point where you need to throw it away and it's worth nothing. So... But this one I had already done, and it has the uh, timelessness scent, which is by using a bluebell, which means it's going to stay like that. And do we maybe we can just put it in here? Uh, oh, yeah, there it is. It's on there. So you can come over here and make. You could, you know what? Why don't you gift the one you've already made? Then you don't need to make one anytime soon. 
it's timeless. Why don't we miff, mm, we gift that one since we have one already? So let's take a look at Ethan. Are you get? Did you get your food from your your aunt? <laughs> Not your big sister. <laughs> did your aunt give you your food? I think she's you're too busy playing, and so she's not giving it to you yet. That would be good to get it. There you go. So go and eat, sweetie. And let's, you're hungry, and you have that in your inventory now. Now what I want to do with Ethan is I'm going to take a look. He won't have anything. But let me take a look at Amelia's inventory. I'm looking to see if we had any grilled cheese ready to eat from when we went to Salvadorada last. Because they're, I find, very useful to give to toddlers. There, we have a ton of them. So we're going to stick those in his inventory for now so that he has something to eat if he needs it. And we do not have a TV here, so there's nothing for him to watch. Just the fireplace. Cause that, uh, but you can, why don't you talk to your uh, uncle? And do some babbling, because that will help you with your communication skill. And, oh, she, <laughs> she looked like she threw up, but then it all disappeared right away. Let's see, does she have any moodlets? Now, she probably threw up, because I had them try for a baby. And I know she's pregnant, because when I... You don't have the option anymore to try for a baby. It's disappeared because essentially we have two, four, six, seven. And the baby that isn't isn't here yet makes eight. So there's no longer an option to try for a baby anymore. So but we don't actually have confirmation. Now he needs some fun and it's almost time for him to go to school. But how much vacation time do you have? You have two days. And I may want to save that for going to Salvadorada, but at the same time, I kind of want to get him, you know, working on his various things here. <laughs> Why don't you just take a shower and then perhaps you can watch game, I guess. Oh, I see, because someone's playing a game. Oh, you're playing a game. I doubt you're going to have any time to do anything, to be honest, so hopefully you don't come home too, too bad. So we got some artifacts being sent to us. Oh, oh, that helped him. I saw something go up for his badge progress. Maybe, maybe can you talk, can you talk about day? I didn't see what, I don't know what badge progress it was, but it was something. You, he does, they, he does have to, ba check his badge progress for his scout requirements but at the same time it's not like they're going to scouting until next Saturday so it doesn't really matter I would only do it because I need to because I want to oh you need to have a shower too you come over here and shower in your uh, your sis big sister your older sister's ensuite bathroom because it's available and it's right there and convenient for you to use now when are you gonna get your call and you need everybody needs to have a shower they all need to have showers and uh, you are going to watch, right? But you're probably about to go to school. Oh, there we go. We got, we did get a promotion. So we are going to work from home and see now what is, he needs to analyze a plant sample. So he, oh, I remember now we got the, so he needs to come and take a cutting. You know what you should do? You should come over here and you should prune this shape because that will help you with your, uh, flower arranging skill. It seems to work with flower arranging and gardening, but her gardening, I'm pretty sure is maxed to the top. Yeah, it is maxed. So what do you, you need to analyze a plant sample, which I just said. So we're going to take a plant sample from something. You know what? Why don't we supercell everything? Cause we don't really need to do anything. And then we are going to collect a microscope sample. So obviously you need to have logic because it says right there you need level four of logic and level seven of gardening skill. And he is level six. So they're both level six now. And he works Monday through Friday. And how about Amelia? She doesn't actually. She works Thursday through Monday. And then she has Tuesday, Wednesday off. So she has lots and lots of time. We have some plants. We I see some, but oh, it didn't really supercell. I see stuff here, so we're gonna supercell some more because it just didn't get over there, and I don't know how far it'll go. We are going to, if it doesn't supercell this, we're going to harvest 
the grow fruit. I have heard from the Carl Sims guy, but I'm not sure if it's been edited that the grow fruit is decent fertilizer. And then once we've harvested that, we're going to super sell. Oh, is that even an option? Maybe that's the only thing to sell. So that's why it's just not saying super sell. So I see a bunch that are ready to be evolved. And how, let's check in on Ethan. How are your, your needs, my dear? You're a little bit tired and you kind of have to go potty. So I think it's time for mommy to do some potty training of you. Oh, but you're... Maybe daddy, what's daddy doing? He's harvesting. Okay, well, let's hopefully this isn't too, <laughs> too playful. Toddlers are dangerous in the house, I have to say. So I'm going to have to keep an eye on her. We're going to go potty train him, and then we're going to, if she's in okay shape. Yeah, she's definitely, well, she's definitely pregnant because I can't try for baby. But she's definitely pregnant because she's got, like, the double arrows that indicate that she's pregnant. So, and I'm not in a rush to actually confirm that because the longer, uh, we have before I was gonna say the longer we have but maybe having them closer in age might be good so it'll essentially trigger the pregnancy starting as soon as we try for as soon as we um <laughs> yeah she's totally pregnant <laughs> as soon as we confirm that with the pregnancy task then the pregnancy starts going but do we want her to have the baby at this time in the morning? Because then she would have it on Thursday. But she should hopefully be able to get family leave. She's been struggling. I've been struggling with family leave a little bit with uh, the gardening career. Sometimes I get it. Sometimes I don't. So then once we're done with that, we're going to read Ethan to sleep. Sawyer has a phone call. Oh, I bet you this is a call. Oh, luckily he's got his high enough that he can get everything. So we had a fight between Eric and another student. And I definitely don't want a lower conflict resolution because I find that really hard to increase when you're a teen. Unless you have a file where there's a lot of people, or a save I should say, where there are a lot of people who have like problems with others and you can work on it that way. But I've not been having that with many of the, and this particular save doesn't have that very much. So um, I'm going to have them work it out. And he can just go go do some volunteering to work on his his uh, empathy. That'll work. So now that you have your cleaning up there, once you've finished with that, I don't want to do anything until Yay. we're going to have you take a shower because you need to. And then we're going to have you go down here and you go to our science lair. <laughs> and we're going to analyze that plant sample that we need to do for work. And then once that's all done, there's our bills, because it's Monday, we're going to put the cow plant out, 5,501. And we're going to um, see whether or not it needs to be fed. And if it does, we'll feed it. Or maybe we won't. Maybe we'll just stick it back in our inventory. This still seems to have all the steam going from when they were they woohooed in there. <laughs> so let me just check on, he, you don't have to feed his, fill his food or clean his habitat, so that means he is okay. My goodness, this potty training is taking a long time. And she's still very, very playful because, of course, that was for two hours. But now 21. This potty play training has taken us over an hour. Because we we started, she had two hours, and then we finished. So good. So he's probably a bit sad because it looks like he had an accident. Oh, he's angry. Maybe he's in. Maybe he's just dirty. I thought it looked like an accident. So go read him to sleep. Come on. Read him to sleep, please. And then by the time <laughs> you're done, you shouldn't, you know, that should be gone and you shouldn't be playful anymore. He still has, she still has a moodlet there. Oh, that's, it was boosting playful, but of course we're not, he's not, she's not playful anymore. She's got a moodlet for nicely decorated. So Amelia approves of the redo of the room <laughs> for Ethan. I'm going to leave that and have one of the teens look after that when they get home from school. She still needs to gift that flower arrangement and she needs to have something to eat. Speaking of eating, I actually would like a girl this time. So let me see if she has some strawberries in her inventory because uh, we need strawberries and listening to pop. What or the other should do it, but I like just to be sure and have them uh, do both usually, but I'm not seeing any strawberries. So let me see, do we have any strawberries over here? Is that tomato? No, it's tomato bush. And this is a strawberry. So we're going to come and harvest the strawberries so that we have some in our inventory so that we can eat them. 
and that will help her a little bit with her hunger. Oh, Leah is uncomfortable. Okay, let's check to see that her food is full. And uh, I guess she's eaten, so I think she has to go to the potty, which we can't influence at all. So you're doing your shower. So we're going to come and ask what's wrong. We'll have him coming over and ask, and I, if she needs attention, we can give her attention, but if she has to go use the litter box, we can't really do very much about that. And that little thing makes me think she needs to use a litter box. Hopefully we get the pop-up. Yeah. Oh, she's hungry. Really? How are you hungry? Okay, well, we'll fill a bowl and call Leah to eat. I'm surprised because unless the the um, maid emptied it, that may be. I have seen that. I haven't seen it for a while, but when Cats and Dogs first came out, I noticed that the maid would come and empty that. So she's going to come and eat. And what are you doing? You're going to go have a shower? Are you going to have a shower or are you going to clean the shower? You're cleaning it. Okay. Well, forget about cleaning right now. What I want you to do is come over here and gift give that gift the flower arrangement gift of white chrysanthemums yeah walk through the stairs and then maybe come over here and take a shower because you need to though actually before you have your shower why don't you eat some strawberries before i forget about it <laughs> is he liking that i'm still waiting to see what the mood light is because they get sad when they don't like it. Did you actually go? Well, it looks like... I still don't see the mood left. I'm going to pause it, or I have paused it, because I want to look for those strawberries. Did she actually go get the strawberries? Yes, she did. She got six strawberries, so there weren't a lot of strawberries on the plant. But, uh, no, there were some. I'm just going to have her eat a couple. She'll probably, I'll have her go harvest, or maybe go have him harvest the rest on the other plants. And yeah, you don't need to clean because we have a maid. So now you can come take your shower and you, we are going to take a look here, go into our inventory, like I said we were going to do, and take a look at the cow plant and see whether he is still, he or she. <laughs> I guess if it's a cow plant, you'd think it would be a she because cows are females. So there she is, there's the cow, <laughs> cow plant. <laughs> and is she still hungry? Yes. Yes, yes. So you're going to come and feed. You're not going to eat that cake. You're going to come feed it. We don't want to lose you. <laughs> Amelia's still working on her soulmate aspiration. <laughs> and I would hope you'd not be so silly as to take that cake. Are you going to feed the cow plant? There we go. <laughs> A little bit scary all fed so good to go and uh, I might leave it out and try and keep an eye on it I do lose my cow plants very often because I, I probably tend to have busier households so I you know it's hard to keep an eye on the cow plant and they I find they do die somewhat quickly when they once they put that cake out if you don't notice so I'm gonna harvest those strawberries so we have a few more strawberries to go and then maybe can't remember what it is that you need for the uh, insect repellent though I was gonna say it's not that important probably don't go make a drink that mixology skill they're always keen on making drinks so we're going to look at brewing a herbal rem remedy and we need noxious elderberry and basil so we have that in her inventory we have enough to do one batch at least so I'm looking in her inventory. I kind of think we should just sell these paintings. There. I'm just going to sell them because there's no point keeping them. I actually made their bills higher because it would have increased their value. And then we have a few plants we can open. So she's got lots of basil. We don't need to harvest any more basil. And noxious elderby, elderberry was, I think, the other thing. But I don't know how much of that we have in our inventory because I can't find it. We have too many other things in our inventory, including some pictures I should probably put out on the wall or something like that. So 
Uh, so she doesn't have very much noxious elderberry. So we're going to go look and see that. And um, have Sawyer, while I pause, while I'm looking, I'm going to take a look where the noxious elderberry is and I'll be back. Well, it actually didn't take me very long. Because <laughs> I did try to organize a little bit. So there, this is the elderberry and the noxious one was right beside it. So we are going to harvest the noxious elderberries. The ones in her inventory are only worth one simoleon, but I did think I noticed that. Let's see. I mean, I can't imagine they're worth the one because they were selling for 101 simoleons for however many we had in our inventory. So we had fives. How are they selling for... I don't know. That doesn't make a lot of sense. Maybe I was looking at sell all instead. Perhaps. Because the elderberries are maybe worth two. Because I'm guessing now that there's only uh, five on there. So I think what I will do now is I'm going to supercell. I don't know whether that'll cover the flowers that are upstairs. Let's go up and take a look. Good, it didn't. Because I didn't actually want it to. So can we plant this tulip? Let's see whether that... No. Yeah, we can't. I think that's why it's not planted. I was going to... Okay, I'm going to use the Alt key and move, put this like this. I mean, it shouldn't matter which way the pot is sticking out, but I do seem to be having problems with some of these. Oh, the, the maid took that flower arrangement away, I think, so we need to definitely have another one made. Okay, so let's see. They are empty and dormant, and right now they are calm. So we are going to bond with the bees, and then hopefully we can plant that this time. And then we will harvest. I don't want to harvest all, because it's probably better for... So he needs to... I probably need to get rid of that. He's got so many... Get rid of the fact that he gets tense by buying him the trait carefree. No time for tense tension anymore. You're all grown up and have a child. So I went too far. Carefree is 3,000 points. Never gets tense. So there you go. You're never going to get tense. Excellent. That's what I want. <laughs> so the kids should be home from school very soon. And what were you going to do? You're going to chat with Sawyer. We got some home projects. I am going to have her, before we end this part, come and take the pregnancy test so that we will get a proper confirmation that she has done that. And I'm going to also have her off camera work on a flower arrangement. We'll do the usual chrysanthemums and I'll make sure it gets scented with the crocuses and move it over there so that we um, don't get stung by the bees. So I'm going to wait for her to come. I'll be back when she gets the pop-up. Okay, well she got off the toilet before we got the pop-up so it was a little bit weird and I think she's going, she cancelled her making <laughs> the uh, <laughs> the flower arrangement. Where is Sawyer? She looks like she's going to chat with Sawyer. Oh, they're here like they always seem to be. So I expect, I'm thinking he's going, she's going to go over there and tell him that they are expecting another baby. There she is. Yay, she is. And I can't see very well. There we go. He looks like he's excited. So we have another baby on the way. And toddler Ethan was like pretty much up all night and sleeping all day. So <laughs> I'll probably wake him up and put him to bed a little earlier. But uh, that is going to be it for this part. Thanks very much for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye! This has been Jennifer. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them below. I'd love to see them. If you liked the video, please leave a like. And if you'd like to see more videos of challenge, let's plays, tutorials, and occasional speed builds, please subscribe if you haven't already done so. Thanks very much!